going on YouTube? It's Robert coming back. What's funny is I haven't posted a video except for the one a few weeks ago or a week ago. And now I'm going to post another one. Um, this is again the 125. I rescaped it the other day. I wanted to get a more central look in my tank. And as you can see, I removed the two bubble bubblers that were here and in the middle. And I built a nice little haven for the babies to get away from the big boys. We got a few babies in there. But uh, I wanted this one, this video is going to be how to sex juvenile cichlids without doing the whole venting thing. Uh, I've come to a pretty reasonable conclusion that males on the top of their dorsal fin have a more pointy tip than females. Females 90% of the time are flat, they look more rounded, and uh, I will try to find one of my female uh, Mizan Reef babies to show you the difference. Now, as you can see, this male right here, that's the biggest of my fry. You see the dorsal, how it's pointed? He is definitely a male. Okay? Now, let me see if I can find a female to show you the difference. That's right here. Okay, that one right there. Let me see if I can zoom in, get her to be still. See how it's not focus. Focus. If you see there's not much of a point there, it's more rounded. Now, uh, it's not probably not the end all be all, but it is a very good way to determine the sex of juveniles that you purchase. If they're big enough, they will start to show that, that slanted tail, that pointy tail over females for certain cichlids that look alike, like the Mason Eye, or I would assume bumblebees, you know, males and females probably look very similar. So with a lot of the other, pe like a lot of peacocks, they are vastly different. Like sunshines don't look like, their females don't look like regular sunshine peacocks. But there are a few that the females look very closely similar to uh, males. So that is just one tip to sex juvenile cichlids. I'm not, I'm not sure if it goes all the way with uh, like Lake Tanganyika and uh, Lake Victoria, but I know the Ambuna that I have and that I've kept for over two years now, 90% of them have that real sharp tail. Like, it's just very pointy. All of my males have them. He's got one. He has one, he has one, he definitely has one, so does he. But like this one, this OB, not so much. But he looks like a male, doesn't he? So anyway, that's my tip of the day. If you already knew it, I'm sorry that I bored you with another video, but um, that's that's the way I've come to find that it's the best way to sex juveniles. If you're going to go purchase them at the local fish store, you know, local, local fish store, PetSmart, Petco, even, you know, uh, reputable, I'm not going to say that PetSmart and them aren't reputable, but uh, if you have one that keeps, that's more like a mom and pop type local fish store that's, that's really good with their fish, have a lot of different fish and are really really smart you know it's a way to get around buying females and then having to bring them back so i hope this tip helps uh like i said if you like the video give me a thumbs up like subscribe uh hit me up with any comments and uh hopefully later on today i may be doing another video tonight uh i ordered a 36 the 48 inch current USA uh, LED Plus it should be coming today through Amazon. 
um, to fix this situation right here. The fact that I have my lights overlapping each other. So tonight, we will have an even amount of light over the entire tank. And I will be happy. My lighting will be fixed. So, like I said, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And, uh, well, yeah, y'all think I'm going to feed you, but I'm not. So, uh, we'll see you on the next one. Later.